four motors versus two motors, truck versus car. Okay, this video is about as apples to oranges as it possibly can get, but we're gonna answer the question, which is quicker in the quarter mile? Is it the 800 plus horsepower Rivian R1T or the Model 3 Performance? And Brendan, what are we doing out here today? First off, we are going to do a quarter mile drag race followed by a 30 mile an hour rolling race. And then we are not gonna do just your average braking test. We are going to do a regen braking test, seeing which one of these cars stops in the shortest amount of distance without even touching the brake pedal. So Brendan, obviously this is by no means apples to apples because I am in a low slung sedan and you are in this massive pickup, but I've always wondered, just personally, what is quicker? A quad motor Rivian R1T or a Model 3 Performance? Just two friends having a drag race. And Brendan, tell me a little bit about the horsepower on that truck. So this thing has 835 horsepower and 908 pound-feet of torque to propel this truck down the road. Yeah, that is pretty insane. For a truck that tows 11,000 pounds to have four motors and 835 horsepower is crazy. And Rivian says zero to 60 in the low three second range, which is the same as this Model 3. So I'm sitting in a Model 3 Performance, a 2023. Now Tesla doesn't publish horsepower numbers, but from what folks on the internet are saying, right around 450 horsepower and zero to 60 also in the low three second range. Now, do you really think that that R1T can beat this low slung Tesla? Come on, man, I am brimming with confidence over here. This thing has over double the amount of horsepower that you are pumping to the ground. Uh, there should be no reason why I can't take you. Have you ever launched an R1T? Do you know what that sensation's like? No, but I've sat in a uh, Model S Plaid that got launched. So I've never actually launched one myself, so it should be a first uh, fun experience. Um, now, are you in sport mode? I, I see that your suspension has gone down quite a bit. Yep, I've switched it over to sport mode, and uh, I want to give this thing the best chance possible to uh, beat you in a straight line, so I think that's the way to do it. All right, I just have to plant the accelerator all the way to the ground in this Model 3, nothing to it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Taking off faster than me. But he is right with me on off road tires. He is right in my quarter panel. There's 100 miles an hour already. We got the solo deal performance timer. No way. Come on, Rivian. Let's go. What the heck? And I just crossed the line. Wow. What the heck did that happen, Tommy? This thing like hit 110 and then just plain stopped accelerating. It's like I hit a wall. Yeah, that is the thing, right? It does have a um, a, a top speed limiter. Part of it is like you are on those all-terrain tires and it is a truck, so it's not meant to go um, over 100 miles an hour for extended periods, but what did you do in the quarter? So I did a 12.13 at 111 miles an hour and it felt really fast, but uh, I saw you in front of me, so it surely wasn't as fast as you. Get out, I did a 12.18 at 115.8. So we were within 0 0.05 of a second in the quarter. We'll do one more quarter mile race. Um, but that isn't, I mean, that is as close as, as you can possibly get. So clearly you actually had a little bit more acceleration. Maybe I took off the line first, but um, I, I caught up at the top end with that uh, 115 mile an hour trap speed. But that was, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, I want to give this one another shot. Maybe, maybe I was sleeping at the wheel a little bit here at the launch and need to give this thing a better chance to beat you. these vehicles have some really cool features that you may not be expecting if you've driven an ice car or a, or a gasoline car your entire life and we're going to check those out so of course see Tesla Model 3 has a front trunk but I think the Rivian takes it a step or two further so yes his has a front trunk or a front but so does the Rivian and not only that it's even bigger it's huge Brendan and it's powered up and down so if you want to watch your face and your fingers you don't have to worry about getting your hands all grimy opening and closing it pretty cool nice 
but it goes further. There's another feature you need to see. So not only does it have that front trunk or front, but you do have some additional storage in the back here with this pass-through storage. Now, this actually opens on both sides so you can fit something that goes basically the entire width of the vehicle. They even put a few like goodies in here, like this has the first aid kit. And then the other side's got something even more fun. So on the other side, you have another pouch that has this cool hose in it. And Tommy, show them where it goes. <laughs> okay, I'll show them where the hose goes. Um, in the back, of course, you've got this monster tailgate that folds down. And then on the driver's side is an integrated air compressor. Check that out so you can air up not only your vehicle tires, but bikes and paddle boards and all your outdoorsy things. Now, admittedly, the Tesla Model 3 doesn't have nearly as many cool storage things. I've got a power opening rear trunk, which is different than some of the old Model 3s. And then underneath the floor, I've got some additional storage, actually quite a bit of storage, but uh, yeah, no fancy gear, gear tunnels or, or, or compressors, that kind of thing. Now, although Tommy has a trunk, I have a truck bed, but believe it or not, this actually comes with a spare tire. If you put your fingers here and push up on this, it actually opens a container that houses that full-size spare tire right underneath that truck bed. Tesla pioneered some really great features which are fantastic for when you're not driving your car. But say, for example, you've got a furry friend, well, put the Tesla into dog mode, walk away, and it'll keep the cabin nice and cool. Or how about this? You're worried about security, you can turn on sentry mode, it'll record things happening around your car, um, and then you can play back and, and keep your car nice and safe. So the Rivian does have a dog mode as well. So if you hit the climate and then hit the little paw up there, that is where you can turn it on for your pet's comfort. And this does have a mode similar to Sentry mode. They just call it Gear Guard. So look, Brendan, Tesla does have a lot of really cool features in the Model 3, and they do add more as time goes on through over-the-air updates. But when it comes to cool things to show your friends, Rivian definitely has Tesla beat. Yeah, and there's one I even forgot to show you. You get your own personal little flashlight here in Whoa. the door. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. All right, Brendan, so I'm actually gonna try something as well. I am going to go into track mode and we're gonna see if that has any impact on the performance of the Model 3. So track mode, track mode engaged. Okay, there we go. I think I got a little better launch. Full throttle, good launch in the Model 3. Feels about the same in track mode as it feels in the normal mode. But he's still taking off on me, even more so this time. Gets off the line hard and the rear starts to catch up a little bit with mid speeds. And then I have a But my time was actually worse. I did a 12.21 at the same 111 miles an hour. What did you do? Did you did your time improve with your new mode? Yeah, it sure did. I just ran an 1194 at 115. So in my track mode, I was able to squeak a little bit more performance out of it. We are at a mile above sea level, not that it really matters with the EVs. And then 115.4 was a good trap speed. But let's do this, uh, Brendan, let's try a roll race and see if, uh, you know, from 30, how that Rivian compares at speed to the Model 3 performance. Yeah, it sounds good. I mean, I'm a little less confident in that considering this thing is like topped out at 111 miles an hour, but we'll see. Yeah, but the Rivian seems to really give a huge surge of torque right around 30, 35. So I'm thinking that it's gonna be a little closer than I think. So the roll race is simple. We're gonna accelerate up to 30. You're still in sport mode. I'm in track mode. We're gonna go three, two, one, go. And then when I say go, we both go full throttle and we see who crosses the line first. Sounds good to me, let's do it. Here we go. This is really where the Tesla is impressive is a 30 roll, because you get just a huge amount of torque. All right, I got 30. Okay, three, two, one, go. He is right with me to right about 75 miles an hour. Ooh, it still launches hard. And as we hit 75, I start to pull away, and he's still kind of hanging with me. Oh, come on. Come on, Rivian. Oh, I'm about to hit my cap. There it is. That's all she's got. 
until we hit that speed limiter and then I start to pull away at about 100 to 1215. But that was uh, also, I mean, it's amazing. The truck is so big and heavy and yet it's able to do things you just... I fell for a little bit closer up until I hit that 110 mile an hour barrier. We were keeping up pretty uh, neck and neck there, Tom. Yeah, that Rivian is so impressive in like that 30 to 80 mile an hour range for, you know, a, what is that, 7,000, 8,000 pound truck? It just hangs with you, it's incredible. So really impressive result on that Rivian considering it'll tow 11,000 pounds and carry your friends and all your camping gear, whereas this Model 3 really won't. But we got one last test just for fun. So you know how to change region mode, right? I'm gonna go into the highest region setting here in this Model 3. Yep, and so I have standard or high as well, and so I just switched mine over to high. I'm gone into normal mode for this one, um, which should be fine, because uh, for, for braking I think it's more applicable for people to do it in standard drive mode, but let's give it one more go. We'll do a regen test. So we'll stay on the accelerator until the cone, and then we'll let off the accelerator, and we'll see who slows down first. Yeah, I think that sounds interesting. Let's do it. Okay, we'll go up to 60 miles an hour. Got 60. Okay, I got 60. We're both at about 70% state of charge. And off the accelerator. I'm good at the third time. All right, I have to go to break. Well, interestingly enough, neither of them could stop before. Did you did you hit the brake? I didn't touch the brakes at all. <laughs> oh, really? You stopped not hitting the brakes? Yeah, I didn't touch it. I was thinking about it, but I thought it might be more entertaining for you all if I uh, go off into the dirt. <laughs> well, I had to hit my brakes pretty hard at the end because I would have just shot out of the dirt. So there we have it. The Rivian R1T has much stronger regen than the Model 3 Performance. How about that? That. Brendan, what is the sticker price on that truck? Yeah, so this one's about $92,000 as option, but you can get these starting in the 70s. Yeah, that's right. And this Tesla Model 3, we paid about $53,000, $54,000 for. So it's a more expensive truck. It's a little slower, but it also can go off-road and tow and carry a ton more stuff. So it's amazing that we're talking less than 0.2 of a second slower in the quarter mile for a huge truck. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's a super useful vehicle with all of those cool features going on with it and it hauls ass. So in the next video, you know it's gonna be Cybertruck versus R1T. Although we may be waiting for a hot sec. Mm -hmm. Guys, let us know yeah. what you think in the comment section below. Brendan, where can folks go to find more TFL? They can check us out at alltfl.com. Yeah, that's right. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.